Welcome to another update of Beaver Artist 3.5.0. This is the official release announcement. So what's new in 3.5.0? This update includes bug fixes and updates from Blender 3.5 and another 89 tasks and bug fixes that we have included from the community. A new feature that we have included comes with the new Grease Pencil Brush Panel that we have included with B4 Artists. To activate it, go to User Preferences, Add-ons, and turn on the B4 Artists Brush Panel. This will add the Brush Panel to the Grease Pencil Draw Mode so that you can see all of your Grease Pencil brushes at a top level to point and click and use. Additionally, we have renamed the default brushes to contain a prefix to help you see what brush is for what mode or what object type, where GP is for Grease Pencil, S is for Sculpt, V is for Vertex, and W is for Weight, and T is for Texture, where some brushes are both for the Grease Pencil, Vertex, and Weight, and with that you can see which brush is for what. We have also added to the top level the method of how you can append or link data from your asset library. This also includes a method to follow the user preferences set by the library in the settings that you can access from the catalog asset library paths. Another aspect that we added to the timeline editor is the ability to set start frame and set the end frame directly from the header without needing to go into a submenu to do this. We also move some operators from the UV editor up to the top level so that you can randomize them directly from the tool shelf. And as always, we have done our routine maintenance of making check marks go to the left and indenting groups of properties and other aspects with collapsible views in the headers and menus and panels. We have also added and updated all of the Blender features that have come to be for Artist 3.5.0 including the ability to select vertex links in weight paint or vertex paint, and also to be able to select linked. We have also updated the Blender 3.5 context menus on nodes, where you're able to still continue accessing the Blender documentation, but our word of warning, this is not the Beeple Artist documentation for these nodes. So use with care. Other options is the new context menu to rename and also to insert nodes into a new group. And you can also rename from the header. And with that, another change from Blender is the new node order in the geometry nodes where they're now categorized into subfolders. We have reflected this change inside of subgroups in the add node shelf. And new nodes that come in handy is the new interpolate curve node for hair. The animation editors also got some love from Blender, including a new operator to smooth and ease your channels. And another that you can do is right click onto the channels to get a context menu, or you have a new context menu in the editors. The asset library from Blender also is included, which comes with some hair presets for geometry nodes and curves. I'd also like to give a very welcome and strong thanks to Simon Mueller for providing his splash screen for today's release. Simon Mueller has been interviewed with the Q&A that we do every Friday in the Before Artist Discord server. If you'd like to be a part of the community, join the server, share your art, and would love to consider it for the next splash screen of the future. If you'd like to know more, you can check out the release notes at beforeartist.de, and you can always download for free and try it out today. Thank you for all your support and I want to say thank you to everyone who helped contribute code including Rainer, Yard, and also Jusa. So have a really good one and I will see you next time.